This is a basic 3D plant and it looks more like a hard plastic surface than something organic. But stay tuned until the end because today I'm going to show you everything about translucency maps and how to use them in both Blender and Unreal Engine. Maybe you have seen translucency maps before and ask yourself what they are. So the translucency property is present in some materials that refract rays of light but do not fully absorb them, allowing part of the rays to pass through. And this right here is a more complex and full visualization of how a translucent material works. Feel free to pause the video and look at it for a second. An example for translucent materials are leaves, liquids, thinner parts of our body like the ears and nose and most organic materials also have this property like paper. In general translucency maps are just a cheap and simplified version of subsurface scattering. And they store the colors of the translucency which can be seen when looking at the material against the bright light. Ok, now let's jump into Blender and start. Ok, so now I am in Blender and I got this dandelion from Quixel Bridge and now let's switch to shading and also let's switch from EV to cycles and use GPU compute and then we can go to the rendered view. Ok, now let's set up the basic material. So Quixel Bridge provides all the textures we need. We have the albedo texture, then our translucency that we will use in a moment. Then the roughness, this goes into the roughness right here. And we have the opacity. This is very important. It goes into the alpha and makes our leaves actually look like leaves. And now, last but not least, the normal map. This goes into the normal map node and make sure you switch from sRGB to non-color. This is very important, otherwise you will have weird shadows. Okay, the plant looks like this currently. Let's add a little plane for the ground. And you see the leaves are not translucent at all. Down there, there are hard shadows. And now I will show you how to set up the translucency. You have to get a mix shader node. This goes in between here. And now let's add a translucency BSDF. Make sure it's the translucent, not transparent. And this will go into the upper input. And now let's plug the translucency into that. But you notice there's something wrong with the alpha map. So let's fix that by grabbing a color ramp. This goes into the factor, so the color into the factor. And then we need our opacity map. Let's drag it up here. And this goes into the color ramp. Then let's switch those two inputs. Okay. And then you can make this dark color brighter until you like the result. So if you make it completely black, then you have more translucency and if you make it completely white then you have no translucency at all. So let's make it a light grey. Let's delete the light source and just for demonstration purposes I will add a sunlight and make it a bit brighter. Let's set it maybe to a strength for 4 and now you can see the before and after. So this was the before. You can see it looks very dull, very plasticky and now it's with the finished material and it looks just way better. You get a little green in the shadows, you can look through the leaves, the shadows are not too harsh and you can experiment a bit with the value from here and set it to your liking. And this is it for Blender and now we can switch to Unreal. And here we are in an Unreal Engine test map and I got the same plant. Let's go to material and call this dandelion underscore mat. Then go into that and now drag all your textures in. 
Okay, and setting up this material in Unreal Engine is actually quite easy. So we have to go to the Dandelion Matte node and then change the blend mode from opaque to masked. And you see we get this opacity mask option right there. And also go to shading model and switch it from default lit to two sided foliage. This shading model was especially made for foliage and when the lighting is baked, the light can pass through the leaf. Let's begin by grabbing our albedo texture and plugging this into the base color. Then let's plug the roughness into the roughness right here. The opacity mask goes into the opacity mask, of course. And then the normal goes into the normal right here. And now this material would not have the translucent feature. So we got our translucency map and this goes into the subsurface color. There's a bit too much specularity. So what I will do is pressing one and the left click at the same time to get this note. If this doesn't work for you, you can right click and search for scalar parameter and just use this one. Okay, so I will add a value of 0.05 and plug this into the specular and then there's only very little gloss going on. Now we can save this material and let's drag in our dandelion model and make it actually a bit bigger. And I will apply the old material without the translucency to it. And you can see the sun is coming from this direction and you can see through the leaves. And if I rotate around the plant, it just looks the same from all directions. And this dandelion material is the one we just made. And let's apply this one. And you can see if the sun comes from this direction, you can actually see through the leaves and they get this bright green glow. And from the other side, the plant has no translucency because the sun is at this side. It's that easy. That's actually it. If this video was helpful, please smash the thumbs up button and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.